Hello my beautiful Pisces, here we are with your X returns video. Will my X return? I call them the X files. We're going to look at your overall energy for the reading. Uh, thank you to all of those who entered the contest by subscribing, liking the video, and giving a comment. And welcome to all new viewers. Thank you so much. Um, if you would like a personal reading, the link to my website is at the top right hand corner of this video or in the description box below. So let's look and see what we have. All the April love videos have been posted. They are linked to this video. All videos are good for anywhere from six months to 12 months. So I invite you to look at any of the videos that are very popular, especially we have some really good um, videos that people have responded to well. The tribe, okay, so you are very, very focused on family and people you love and all the people in your tribe and good for you, serendipity. You're feeling very lucky in love. I like that energy for you, Pisces. So let's look and see a leg up. You may give someone else a leg up and that means helping someone or they may give you a leg up. Interesting. So let's see if your ex will return. We're going to do a 10 card Celtic and we are going to clarify it. There we go. So for Pisces, will their ex return? What is the circumstance or the energy that their lover has at this time? Ooh, making plans. Crossed by the Justice card, trying to find balance in a situation that was clearly unbalanced. All right, you may have worked with this person with the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles in energy is Capricorn energy. The Justice card is Libra energy, and at the base of the reading, what brings you to the reading is wondering about an emperor or somebody who is an Aries or a natural leader in business, somebody who's maybe very set in their ways. In the recent past, Pisces, what do we have? Nine of Swords. Your person has been worried. They've been all up in their head. You also look at this in, in terms of what's happening, uh, and I call it basically crazy getting is what we're experiencing right now. And so your person has been thinking about you, worrying about you. Woo, okay, a lot of cards came out. Well, you guys, behave yourselves. Oh, look at that Three of Swords. Feeling heartbroken, feeling as though you, you might be in a third party situation, but not necessarily. The Strength card is Leo energy, and that indicates that your person, Pisces, cannot give up on you. They think about you, they're sort of obsessed with you, they are feeling heartbroken. The Moon card also, Pisces, indicates that things are not as they appear. You may need to give this person a break or not, depending. This is the the sequestering, you know, the the um, staying at home, you know, being locked into the house. Your person at five of swords, oh, they want to win. They want to win you back. They don't think they can. They feel as though they drove you away. Eight of cups. Um, you know, that's energy that says you wanted to go to something better. The Gemini, uh, Gemini can, energy came out, that's a magician card, or Virgo, and the Wheel of Fortune. You simply think right now that maybe your time is better spent in other places, okay? So your person's very worried about that. They do feel as though they were lucky to meet you, that Sagittarius energy and the magician energy. They are trying to manifest you. So let's, oops, I want to clarify. So let's look at, I want to see why the Three of Swords card is there. So I'm going to clarify that first. Why is the Three of Swords card? The Three of Swords card can be, and often is, circumstances that are separating you. It doesn't look like there was a big fight here, but it does look like you left, you just decided there was something that this, you know, this relationship really wasn't giving you. All right, so why is the Three of Swords here? Seven of Swords, okay. So Pisces, that is energy that is very crafty, very strategic, and you feel as though your person was a player, and at the very minimum, you felt that they were seeing other people or that they had a relationship in their work environment that just didn't seem quite right. It looks as though they probably got messages from somebody at work who may have had designs on them. We have the beautiful Queen of Cups and uh, again this is related to worry and a work situation. When we get swords we get a lot of communication, sometimes texting. 
is the Three of Swords card. Yes, your person feels very defensive about this. They feel very worried about it. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The page of the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, again, it looks like you might have gone off and met with this person for, you know, drinks or, but actually the Ace of Pentacles would be much more like planning something with them, maybe even having to travel to see them or being on a business trip. The Three of Cups. Yep, you spent time. Your person spent time with another person who was from work. Did they have an affair? Let's ask that question. Well, this person really was tempted. They, they saw this other person as quite beautiful, okay? And it looks as though that player energy, we've got a queen of wands here. So that is the Aries queen. We have the queen of cups, that's a Cancerian queen. All right. So why did this person think that they should talk to so many people? Well, ace of wands, we know what that means. Ace of wands is passion. You know, Knight of Wands is, can be player energy. So it does look as though, at best, they were not, it doesn't look like, it just looks like they were not focused on you. So the way I'm reading this is it's probably a relationship that didn't last a super long time. Maybe anywhere from three months. It could have well been a dating uh, app, you know, dating situation where you just didn't really, the person never chose you, you never decided to date exclusively, and that's what it looks like. For those that are, you know, that I'm reading for that, for whom this would resonate, yeah, it looks like they just never really made the solid commitment to you. The Justice card says that at the end of the day, you want a fair and balanced relationship that you can work on. This is actually some of your energy as well as the other person's energy, and that both of you naturally like to build things. And you felt like this person came into the relationship with that promise, but then you had to defend, you had to defend it. And you don't know why, because you clearly had such a great time together. The Sun card indicates that's Leo energy. This is Leo energy. It indicates that their relationship with you is, might have been one of the best they ever had. So the question is, you know, what's going on with all of that? Okay, why is this beautiful strength card here for you, Pisces? The strength card shows me that your person now, retrospectively, has decided you're the only one that they want. All right, so when we get the Leo card, look at this. This is a card of actually someone choosing to you and being almost obsessed with you. It represents your person as the lion and you are the beautiful witch. And this lion doesn't want to leave your side. It's a card of deep sexual chemistry. Somebody who wants to stay by you because you make them feel so good. You give them a leg up. They feel lucky to have you. They feel like your family to them. So why is the the um, strength card here. Yep, here we go. They see you as a person who has, uh, this is Libra energy, and we have Libra in the house here. So they feel as though you're a very fair person, but at the end of the day, you will eliminate anybody who doesn't serve a positive force in your life or positive energy that you'll cut them out. And they feel guilty about that. Look at that person's carrying a burden, a bundle of sticks that's heavy. They want to march through. They want to prove to you that they are worthy of your attention and that you are worthy of a traditional relationship up to and including marriage. Why is the moon card here? Okay, well, let's see. I like this reading. The moon card is Piscean energy. <laughs> They want, they want a reconciliation. The temperance card is there coming back, trying to reconcile with you. However, you do not like the fact that they, they presented themselves as this kitty cat, all tame and sweet and nice, and yet you were a little bit stealthy as that panther. And so this is Pisces. Pisces is a witch who's taken off in the moon. Pisces is the energy of, I'm leaving this behind. I want something better. There's, I have a wheel of fortune going on. I don't need to feel conflicted. I don't need to feel sad and lonely. I don't need to feel, I don't want to argue with anybody. Pisces is like that. You don't like to argue. Self-imposed restriction. Okay, we're all sequestered, but by the same token, spiritually, I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, so why does your person think that they deserve a reconciliation with you? Well, they don't. They don't think they deserve it. 
they think they stirred up quite a, a, a lot of trouble with you. So they, they're not expecting you to say yes. They're just hopeful. They're hoping luck is on their side. Yep, Ten of Swords. They want to end this behavior that you would perceive as stabbing you in the back. Well, let's see. Pisces is not having it. <gasps> you are not taking this person back. Look at you gave them their shot. You gave them their shot and you are not having it. You are still off. Oh, wow. Oh, good for you, though. You know, you want somebody that you really feels at home to you. So Pisces, Pisces, you are just, you know, you're off. Knight of Pentacles, you're slow moving into the future. You don't mind if somebody is slow but steady in a relationship. That's Virgo energy. What are they trying to man? What are you trying to manifest? We are trying to manifest this, but they're not your person. They are not this person in your book. You do not have a sense of forgiveness about this person at all. You feel as though they weren't reliable. They didn't stand by your side. They were over here being a player and being like what you would consider a flaky Knight of Cups. You know, the, the Knight of Cups is very romantic and a lot of people like it more than me. I don't care for that card as much as other readers do simply because this guy is sweet and kind and oh so romantic and will give you affection and then he forgets that he invited you to dinner the next night so there's inconsistent i always learn from my clients so when i pull that card the person is inconsistent with their attention why is the eight of cups here again well you are the queen of pentacles that queen of pentacles has capricorn on her mind she wants something steady she wants something that's going to work she wants something reliable like a tribe I love this energy. And why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Well, your person is willing to wait it out. They are willing to wait for the Wheel of Fortune and Destiny to smile on them for a beautiful King of Wands. And this is a, I will call it a man with a plan, but it's a person with a plan. Somebody who intuitively knows that they can't behave like this and, uh, you know, they can't, they can't do something wrong and expect a good outcome. Pisces, Pisces, good for you. I want to congratulate you and wish you well on your new venture as you continue to move forward in your love life to something grand and divine and serendipity luck is on your side as well as the wheel of fortune. You are about to get what you want. You are manifesting a maniac. Good for you. Pisces, thanks so much for your time. Bye-bye.